Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Weir, and I gotta tell you, I love life. But when I'm not being a husband, a father, a grandfather, an author, or a practicing chiropractor, I'm the host of the television show, Loving Life with Dr. Tim Weir. I love to cook. I love to travel. I like to spend time with people who do what they love and love what they do. Join me and Elvis for the next 30 minutes as we help you discover how to love life. Hey, you know I love to cook, love to get in the kitchen, love to go on the barbecue grill, I just love to do it. And you're always looking for good things to cook with, and I discovered Granddaddy Dave's barbecue sauce, and I'm with Scott Merritt here, owner of Granddaddy Dave's. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you for being here. Fantastic. Now, I love local businesses, I love local people who just decide, I got this thing, I'm gonna do it. Yep. And that's what you guys did. That's pretty much it. My brothers and I, we've been doing barbecue and ribs and chicken and all of that on the grill for years with my dad. Wow. And who happens to be Granddaddy Dave. Yeah. And uh, we've been making all these different sauces and seasonings and we thought we'd share it with uh, Wake Forest at first and then we left Wake Forest and now we're across about 30 states. Oh, that is awesome. So, I love success. Absolutely. We're, we're pushing to get there. So <laughs> we're going to make... A brand new recipe. Absolutely. What do you call this? Uh, this is a barbecued salmon. It's on top of a uh, green and red tomato salad. Mm, let's do it. Absolutely. So we've got our vinaigrette. We've got our salad going on. Now we come to our beautiful piece of salmon. And salmon is one of those things to where when you're cooking it, there's no need to get technical. All you're really going to do is you're going to take a just a little bit of salt and pepper. Really nice fresh salmon. It's got a beautiful flavor in its own, so no need to mask it too much. A little salt and pepper. We're gonna take a just a little drizzle of olive oil right on there. I've always wondered what a drizzle looks like. That's what it that's, looks That's pretty close. That's kind of a half a drizzle. So we're gonna take this salmon. I've got a, a little pan back here that we're going to uh, heat up. Get the heat going on. You're going to take it on uh, kind of a medium high heat. Anytime you're putting, anytime you're putting fish into a pan, um, you want the pan to be relatively hot. Otherwise, if you put it in a cold pan with oil, it's probably when it gets hot, it's probably going to stick right to the yeah. pan. Everybody's seen that where it just it sticks right there. And also, when you're putting fish in that pan, you want to make sure that when you put it down, you want to leave it alone until you get a nice crust under the fish. That way, it doesn't stick when you get ready to turn it over. So a uh, little bit of olive oil on the fish. That pan's heating up. Um, what we're gonna put on this salmon today is gonna be Granddaddy Dave's uh, Sweet and Mild Barbecue Sauce. Mm -hmm. um, the flavors in this, you got a little bit of sweet with brown sugar and regular sugar. You've got two different kinds of vinegars. You got red wine vinegar and also cider vinegar. Um, it pretty much makes this a barbecue sauce that's a cross to, kind of a cross between the vinegar hogwash, which you find in Eastern North Carolina, and the tomato base, which you'll find in the western portion, we kind of put them together and that's what we came up with, with the sweetness. Um, doesn't have much heat to it, so it's fantastic for families it's and kids nice. and, and anybody that doesn't like that heat. We do have the hot version, which has got about four different peppers in it, which gives it about a mm, four to five second delay. When you put it in your mouth, you get the full flavor of the barbecue sauce but you definitely get the burn in the background, which a lot of people like. So I think our pan is getting up there right now. So we're gonna take a little bit of, a little bit of oil. Put that in there. We're gonna, let's see. We're gonna take this piece of salmon here. And all we're doing with the, with the pan is we're gonna get a nice sear on it to uh, sear in all of those juices and flavors and get a little bit of color on there. We're gonna take a, once again, we're gonna take a little bit of 
salt and pepper. Put it on the back side. Nobody likes a... That's like frying it almost, but you're just searing it. Just searing it. Um, I, I usually do this on, I have a, a nice uh, flat griddle. Yeah. Um, if you have one of those at your house, you can turn that up to about 400 degrees, mm -hmm. put a little oil on there, and we'll sear it right there. You're just trying to get that heat on both sides and a little bit of color. Um, that way you get that nice crispy outside and then the moist inside is what we're looking for. So on that, we're, we're gonna leave it in that pan, medium high heat for probably about three minutes. We'll turn it over and do the same thing. And then we're actually gonna finish this thing in the oven. Before we put it in the oven, we're gonna put that beautiful barbecue sauce right over the top. So this has been cooked. Oh man, look at that. That has been cooked. It's got that, that nice sear. If you look at that nice color on the outside, you've got uh, the sugars and all of that have kind of melted down into that. And we'll turn this down over here. Um, you got all your sugars and all of that stuff melted down right there. So borrow that there so I don't hurt myself. We're gonna take this salmon right off the platter. We're gonna put it right on top of that there. This is the most important thing. Right here. <laughs> I always like to take, uh, I always like to take a little leftovers on the the lemon here. We'll put a nice, beautiful wedge of lemon. We'll put that right on the outside. We'll clean that bowl up a little bit there from all the vinaigrette, and that is your beautiful. Barbecue salmon, Man. nice and healthy, Man. packed full of flavor. The vinaigrette on those tomatoes kind of gives it sweetness, wow. it gives it sourness. Um, all things considered, that right there is a fantastic dish. <clears throat> so Dr. Timmy gonna check it out. <laughs> oh my God, that is good. Granddaddy Dave's, you can get this. Fresh market. All over the place. We've got uh, Ace Harbor, Harris, Harris Teeter, about 40 locations. If you check our website out at granddaddydavesbarbecue.com, um, you'll find all the different locations that we have. And we've got about 150 across the country and we're in about 30 states. So uh, we've also got it online for order. So honor knowing you, my friend. Sure, enjoy Thank it. Thank you. Awesome Absolutely. having you here today. Don't change your channel. Good. We're going to be right back. Uptown Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. Hi, this is Dr. Tim Weir. I treat hundreds of patients every year who've been injured in car accidents, and a lot of those could be avoided. The National Safety Council reports that cell phone use while driving leads to 1.6 million crashes each year. That's one out of four accidents. Do yourself a favor, and if you get a text while you're driving, ignore it. And getting a carton of milk isn't gonna do any good if you're dead. Drive safe, keep loving life. Hi, my name is Anita. I was in an accident with whiplash, medium and lower back pain, and I came to Raleigh Injury Chiropractic, and I believe it was the best thing I ever done. The staff here is wonderful. Dr. Weir is great. You might couldn't ask for nothing else better in Raleigh. And I'm glad to be here and I'm glad to maintain my health. Hey, I'm Dr. Tim Weir. If you want results like Anita, call our office today. 919-790-1332. Call right now.
hey, we're in a great place in Raleigh, North Carolina. I, I tell you what, I just love entrepreneurs. I love people who get a, an idea and a concept and then just decide to run with it. And I'm with Marcus Hall, co-founder of Cowfish. That's right, the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar. Good to be here today. What an awesome, I mean, how did this all come together? Total joke, drop from above. That's exactly what I tell folks. About 10 years ago, my business partner and I opened up an American Asian fusion concept in Huntersville, North Carolina called Ease Fusion and Sushi. Ease is steak, seafood, wok, noodle, and we learned sushi over the years. About five years ago, we were looking for a second location and it seemed like a natural location, Charlotte, North Carolina. And we found this space about 3,000 square feet in South Park Mall and it was a great spot, but it was just too small. Sure. Could, could not fit sushi bar, alcohol bar, and have room for tables and chairs. And at that time, Alan Springate, my business partner, was running a gourmet burger joint on the other side of the wall. And so really? the story goes, one night we were joking around on the phone and he said, you know, what if we just knock the wall down? Like, let's take the sushi from ease and let's take this gourmet burger idea and let's just knock the wall down, double down, and sushi burger bar and i remember clearly hanging up the phone saying that is the most ridiculous idea ever it will never ever work and sure enough we did it and we we took a we took a lot of heat in the media there were a lot of folks that said can't do both they shouldn't be breathing the same air as us but we rested on the fact that we had this experience with sushi and burger and the cowfish was born i call those bad things like that advertising i love it yeah, you know what? It is. It markets itself. Oh yeah, very much so. You have folks online saying they can't do it. It can't be good. And then the majority of the population has this curiosity sure. factor going on, and they say, "I got to at least give it a shot." And at that point, at that point, you know what? We we believe in our product. We've oh, yeah. worked hard to try to create a great sushi experience and a great burger experience all in the same restaurant. Well, the fact is, uh, sushi is really a specialized little thing here Absolutely. and if you don't like sushi you usually you usually don't go to a sushi restaurant that's it it's the veto vote we'll definitely call it the veto vote i hear probably a dozen times a day if we sit here long enough somebody will walk up and say this to us i love sushi but my significant other will not go out to eat with me everybody in my office they won't go out to eat with me because i just want to go get sushi so we've solved this big dilemma in households and, and in offices. And it was an accidental asset. I, again, drop from above, the, fa the fact that we have both food groups is the strength of the concept. Now, okay, so now we have, we have two food groups. Right. Do we mesh them at all? We do, we do, we absolutely do. So as, as the door opened, the creative door opened, and sushi burger bar came into the front of our mind, I had this thought, sushi, burger, burgushi. So the creation of burgushi came about. Burgushi can be experienced three ways. You've got pickup style sandwiches created using sushi components. You've got traditional sushi rolls, but they're created using all burger components. And then you've got a third option called the cowfish bento box, where you have the ability to eat a little bit of burger, a little bit of sushi, and then you've got three of our favorite side items that come in that bento box. And the bento, without a doubt, is a top seller. People love, you see the menu and it's big and there's so much going on, and it's kind of an easy go-to. I'll try both. Bento box, a little bit of burger, a little bit of sushi, and these sides, right? Burgushi. It's a marriage. Burgushi. You know, I have said for years, your greatest ability, your greatest gift from God, is the ability to create. And as I'm in here, you've got create all over you, man. Thank you. Thank I, you. I'm really amazed. Thank you. It means a lot. I was watching, I was watching a video the other day. It was a video on Russell Wilson and Fish, the band Fish, and Trey Anastasio of Fish said something that struck home to me. He said, you know, a lot of our ideas, a lot of our ideas are just, you know, some guys sitting around on the couch and we have all these ideas. But he, he then said, but well, we do them. We actually are That's crazy amazing. enough to yep. carry it out and yep. do them. Yep. So I think, you know, that kind of, that kind of struck me. We really have, whether we intended to or not, we've, 
we've pushed out there some things that were in our mind. And when you see guests grabbing onto it and saying, yeah. oh, I get the art. Oh, it's unique. Yeah. Oh, the fish tank that yeah. has the martini glass. And you know, the bathrooms, I have these translations in the bathroom. It's not your typical, it's not your typical Rosetta Stone, yeah. how to speak Chinese or Japanese. It takes it a step further. I use my own staff and it's proper English translated to Indonesian and then translated back to redneck. <laughs> Why not? It's a weird idea, but I gotta go to the bathroom. There you go. Go check it out. <laughs> Guaranteed that you'll spend a couple extra minutes in the bathroom here at this at this establishment. That's usually a problem in other places too. That's right. That's right. Well, listen, I want to try some of this stuff out. Is that okay if we do that? Sounds great. We'd don't, love to share. Don't change. Tell them not change the channel. Don't change the channel. Stay right here, baby. We are more coming. Up to All right, you know, I hear so much people say, well, I don't have time to cook, I don't have time to do that. And what they do is get a can of soup and open it up and in, you know, 30 seconds they got a bowl of soup. But you got a bowl of soup, but you also got a bunch of chemicals and all kinds of stuff in there that you really don't want. So I, I've put together a, a vegetable chicken beef soup that you can make probably in, maybe an hour or so. But you can then put that in bowls and, and, and in jars and keep it for later. So first thing that you wanna do is get the chicken going. I got the chicken going over here. I use a whole chicken. And you take the whole chicken, don't get the boneless kind, because you want all of that, all the nutrients, there's a lot of nutrients in bones. You know, the old Indians used to kill an animal and they ate every single part of the animal, the eyes, the the sexual organs, the kidneys, the, the all of it, they ate it. And they were healthy because of it, because there's nutrients in each one of those things. So inside of the bones are nutrients for good bone growth. So if you have problems with osteoporosis or joint problems, boy, you wanna make sure that you're cooking with the whole chicken, including the bone. So that's in there cooking. Then you just simply start adding some stuff in. You know, a lot of people sell garlic in the jars that's already cut up, and why do that? In something like this, all you do is you get the garlic cloves. They're very cheap. You get the whole thing right here and just take one piece. And if you want to, you can cut it up just a little bit and put that right into that chicken while it's cooking. All right? On your own, like Justin Wilson used to say, I just cut it up like this. And then you just slice it like this. And you're just gonna take that whole thing and you know, there's that core part. I'm gonna take that out. But the rest of this just goes right into the soup mix. 
Now remember that that chicken has not been cut up or anything, but when you cook all these vegetables with it, the flavor gets into the meat from the vegetables and the vegetables get the flavor of the meat in them. So it's a win-win situation. This is a turnip. My kids never eat turnips. Believe me, they don't know. Just don't tell them it's in there. Incredible vegetable. Uh, uh, vitamins, minerals come from these. And this is very easy to do. Now, you're gonna go to the grocery store and on the outside of this, there's a wax type covering on it. You just cut, you get one of these knives and just cut off this, the outside of it. They wanna, they're alive. Just put them right in there. See, I told you, it popped right off the floor there. Now carrots, you can get carrots that are already cut and already uh, peeled on the outside. I don't like those. But I mean, if you're real lazy and you wanna do that, go ahead. But just get a carrot and just cut it up like, look at, I mean, that's how easy it is. Because this is gonna cook right down. We'll pop that one in there like that. I know you're amazed at how I cut this. It's just, these are alive. And, and you know, I'm joking about the alive food, but it really is live food. There's, there's live nutrients in there. Now, I like to use tomatoes that are in the cardboard boxes like this. I don't like canned stuff because there's a lot of stuff on the inside of those cans uh, that you don't want. Now, we're going to hold on to that because I don't want to put those in quite yet. Next thing I'm going to do, hamburger. Now, let me mention this. The hamburger and the chicken, I want free range, no antibiotic, no hormones in the meat. So you gotta search around a little bit for that. Now all the, all the stores have them, they're a little bit more pricey, but believe me, when it comes to your health, it's gonna be worth it. So I get the hamburger and here, look, all I'm doing is just dropping it in there like this. I know this is hard. And that's just gonna cook right in there. And then the, the uh, fat from the hamburger is gonna cook right into the broth. Now, how easy was that? I'm gonna let that cook for about 45 minutes. And then in 45 minutes, I'm gonna take the chicken out. And I'm gonna cut the chicken up. If you want a little secret, there's a, there's a place at the fairgrounds, North Carolina State Fairgrounds, on the inside. It's a kitchen shop, this is where I got this and it's just a completely solid blade. There's no little marks to it or anything like that. You take the chicken and just chop it up a little bit, put it back in here, put, after I've taken it off the bones, and don't throw away the bones yet, then I put this in. And then what I do is I take it and I put it in the food processor and just very gently chop it even more. And that's gonna chop up the vegetables, that's gonna get the turnips that the kids don't like going to put it right in there and they're not, they're not even going to know what's in there. So when we're done with that, this is what it's going to look like after it's been in the food processor. Another little secret. Now this is from my, my wife's grandmother. Incredible cook she was. She took a little Worcestershire sauce and put right into that soup mix. So as, a, as it's mixing up, put a little Worcestershire. If that gets a little bit strong, get a little bit of ketchup. Put that in. And then here's what it looks like when it's done. Now, a lot of people say this looks like Brunswick soup. Now, another thing my wife did with this particular one, put some frozen corn in it. That's totally up to you. It's, it's whatever your taste is. That is awesome. You're not gonna get that in a can. It only takes an hour to put this together. And your family's getting a great, this could be just a great meal with some gluten-free crackers. Just do it. You're gonna enjoy it. Spend some time cooking at home. That's how we love life. I'll be right back.
Uptown Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. Hi, my name is Anita. I was in an accident with whiplash, medium and lower back pain, and I came to Raleigh Injury Care Practice, and I believe it was the best thing I ever done. The staff here is wonderful. Dr. Weir is great. You might couldn't ask for nothing else better in Raleigh, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad to maintain my health. Hey, I'm Dr. Tim Weir. If you want results like Anita, call our office today. 919-790-1332. Call right now. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Loving Life. I'm always looking for people who have a story to tell or things that they do or they're creative. So if you'd like to be a guest on the show, please send me an email and tell me you would like to be a guest. Please take some time, go to Facebook, just type in Loving Life with Dr. Weir, like it, and then join it with, uh, with uh, join me every day. We've got things that we put up and then tell your friends about it. We're also on Twitter, we're also on uh, Instagram, we're all on all those fancy things. Go to our website, drtimweir.com. I'd like to hear from you. Tell me that you see me. I love being out in public and people come up to me and say, I watch your show. I was just in Home Depot the other day and somebody did that. I love that. I love that we're making a difference in people's lives. So until next week, keep loving life. <laughs> I think that was the head nod that we looked exactly. for. Good. <laughs> Raleigh, when you're in Raleigh, you can go in Charlotte pretty soon, Orlando. Cowfish. Little sushi. Little English burger. Chris was talking about the bathroom. Let's, let's go check it out. Get her done. <laughs> Get her done.